What's up everybody? Welcome to Gaming Tech. From the title of this video, I'm sure you can tell what we're gonna do. PC Building Simulator 2. I tried the previous one. It was fun. This is the improved version in beta state. So we'll take a look at it and see how it is. By the way, this is a great game for people who don't know anything about computers, who just wants to learn to mess around with parts visually to see how the setup looks. You have everything here. Obviously, I'm playing the free mode here, which I'm gonna try to mimic the copy of my own case. That's the whole point here. We have the Rajentech Anio case. There's a business mode in the game as well. You have different kind of tasks where you need to do different stuff. You have all of the components here. I mean, it's crazy detailed. And this is the beta version. Imagine the full version, it's gonna be crazy. I picked this Unify motherboard from Z690. You can open the socket. Now you're gonna find the right processor for it. You install the processor. Obviously, you don't install the processor in this type of uh, layout that's gonna be very tricky you always want to have your motherboard on the table and install it that way i'm gonna find that thermal paste i can't find it here let's see there we go i was messing with the paste this is not how you apply either i mean it's fun look at the details you see the capacitors you see the vrms 24 pin is there you can see the Corsair header there for RGB. You see the debug LEDs there. It's super crazy detail. They should have added the, what's the name of it? The bracket that prevents the bending. So they claim. I think Gamer Nexus did a video about it also. Their Bauer did a tool for it. <laughs> you remember this cooler that gave me so many problems. <laughs> That's not where I wanted to install that AIO, to be honest. I wanted to have it on the top so the water goes properly into that pump because you want to have your pump always on the lowest section. Trying to figure out how to remove here. That's most likely PMW fan header. You even need to remove the screws and stuff. It's super crazy detailed. Trust me, even though I know this process is learning experience for me also, it's a little bit different, but very much fun. That's the cooler we're gonna use on Z690 Hero motherboard, by the way. Here we have Unify, I don't know why I chose that one. Dim slots, you need to press on each one of them. Obviously you do 2 and 4 or 1 and 3. Always take a look at your motherboard's manual though. That would be crazy if in real life that's how you install the RAM stick, just by clicking. M2 header is there. Storage. Let's get a random M2 there. You can open, you can close. Graphic card. I was looking if there was any 3090 Ti. Nope. You see the price of the system is already $4,475. That's insane. Expensive system. Already. And this is definitely not the way for you to have your AIO. I'm glad I figured out how to remove that. That's a big chunky graphic card there for sure. 3 pin. CPU cooling. Look at these AIOs. It even gives you an error that these parts are not compatible with each other, which is very nice. It gives you the visual look, how the system will look. You can customize. You have a different bench. This is the building area. 
Afterwards you troubleshoot it, you start the system, just like how it is in real life. $6,570. Um, that's, that's not a cheap system, that's for sure. And this case is massive. Let's see. Case fans, we're gonna pick Arctic. Need to take off that panel, that's how you do it. You can look from different angle. Performance wise, you don't need to have an insane FPS here, I guess. But it would be nice if we have more. You can adjust which orientation you want to have the fans in. So the fans are installed. Chose a huge ass case. I wanted to do full water cool for it, but as you see on beta version, we don't have everything available yet. So I'm just playing around with what I can find. I, I couldn't change the orientation of that fan on the bottom. Which is very idiotic way to install two fans facing each other. Don't do that. This is just me playing around, basically. You guys should definitely try this game though, it's a lot of fun. Cables, wanted to have sleeved cables. Before that we need a power supply also. So we need to remove the glass panel at the back first. How do I do that though? Oh, we click remove and then you click the screws. Okay. This case obviously supports two power supplies as well. Big boy case. You can run double reservoirs. I mean, it's a great case for water cooling dust management horrible since it's an open frame it's looking good even though it looks so empty need bigger parts cables we have the sleeve cables not sure how i apply them i apply them or i install them <laughs> not sure these are your Exterior glass panels. You can paint the case. After you've done everything, you install the operative system and you boot the system. And you hope that you've done correct work. Here I only see 24 pin installed, even though we installed a GPU. I'm not sure if it's a bug. Look at this place, it's crazy. Neat, nice place. Shame, my own studio doesn't look anything like this whatsoever. I hope you like this video. You should definitely give it a try on this game. It's a fun experience, different for people who wants to learn. I recommend it. I'll see you on the next video. Take care of yourselves. Let's go.